There's been confusion here uh, just outside Brussels. Accident investigators are on the tracks as we speak, trying to establish what caused this uh, disastrous crash. Now, confusion, too, about the number of dead. We now know that that figure has risen to 18, but there's a warning it could rise further. Emergency workers are still on the, in the area, which has been cordoned off now, trying to recover bodies as the light fades. Alex is saying that investigators are at the scene and uh, trying to figure things out right, uh, right now. Yeah, the accident investigators, Jeremy, arrived here at around lunchtime. They've been down on the tracks uh, looking at the relative position of those trains, trying to understand just by looking at this stage how and why this accident happened. Then, of course, will be the painstaking process of reconstructing the carriages, perhaps, and certainly simulating on computers the accident as it happened uh, in real time. That will take many days, but they are focusing on a number of theories at the moment. One is the weather. This morning there was uh, fairly heavy, drizzly snow, which would have uh, made visibility fairly difficult. Now, the other theory that they're looking at, which doesn't necessarily dispose of the first, the two may be interlinked, is that one of the drivers jumped through a red light. Now, why that happened, we don't know, but he failed to brake. He was travelling uh, from the station, probably moving at a fairly slow speed. The other train uh, came much first, faster, and then, of course, uh, there was that awful collision. And uh, Eurostar disrupted, I assume not the entire system, though. That's right. Belgium, remember, is probably the busiest hub in the European Union in terms of uh, its rail network. Certainly lots of high-speed trains uh, travel between Brussels and the United Kingdom and also Paris. Those services have been cancelled uh, today. We're not quite clear what's going to happen uh, tomorrow, but Eurostar has been telling its passengers all day to find alternative transport to get to their destination and seek refunds. Now, it looks, it would appear certainly as though that wreckage is going to stay on this uh, line for some time. This is a very busy axis here uh, running into Brussels, so whether or not trains will be disrupted for, day, for, for tomorrow or days uh, is hard to say at this time.